Hi everyone, it's Christina from KJ's Posh and I have my husband here helping me out with my transition kit unboxing. I'm going to give people a few minutes to join us because I know not everybody is right on. In fact, I'm two minutes late, so eh, it happens. But check out this Lula look that I'm sporting today. This is one of the Carly's, so it's high in the front, low in the back. Um, it's about a six inch difference between the two. Um, but it's really fun to wear. They're really comfy. I, it's you know, that nice stretchy material that feels good everywhere. And it, you know, doesn't hug anything the wrong way, but I'll give you a longer view. See? Well, that's just my chest. Um, <laughs> that probably isn't what you wanted to see. But, so I'm hanging out here, waiting for people to show up. Hi, Andrea Marie! Um, we're about to get started. Um, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have my husband open up the box, because he has an awesome knife to do that. So I'm going to turn towards him. Hello, husband. This is Mark. Go ahead. Open the box. I have not yet opened the box. So, he is going to do the honors. Don't cut any of the posh. All right, the box is officially open. Are you guys excited? I have been waiting for this box. I ordered it on January 20th. And I've been like, oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And I got my tracking on Friday, and I was like, whoa, it's going to be here soon. Okay, so opening up the box, I actually got two transition kits. Hi, Holly two transition kits because we had the option of one, a basic, or number two, a, a bigger one. Oh my gosh. Mark, I hope you didn't put away your knife because I'm going to need it some more. So we have a small box. I haven't looked at any of this. Everybody else has been posting their transition kit unboxings and I haven't watched any of them. I'm like, no, I don't want to see. I don't want to know. So I'm going to, awesome knife, by the way. Um, not for children, obviously. So I am cutting off the uh, tape, or severing the tape. There we go. I'm just going to leave that right there for now. All right, box number one. All right. Are you guys excited? Do you want to see what's in here? Anybody want to see? Mark, do you want to see? Mm -hmm. All right, well, we have the fabulous friendly packaging stuff, which I think I might start wrapping presents in this. I don't know. Okay, so item number one, and I'm going to be opening everything and describing everything to you. So if you have specific questions about anything, just ask. Ooh, good. I figured you might want to know what's in here, Holly. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is called Twinkle Toes, and this is a completely new part of our foot, uh, Play Footsie line. Um, it is described as foot oil for sweet feet. It comes with a little pump. Um, it is, my contacts are not as good as my glasses, I think I need new contacts. For the toes that twinkle, spray feet lightly for hydration of all day long. So let's pop this bad boy open, okay? Oh, it's got a very light mint. It's not very strong. What else is in there? I'm going to put the top on. These will all be for sample at all of my events in the future. Oh, no, we lost somebody. Did we lose Holly? Did we lose Andrea? We lost somebody. All right, so this has in it... Mark, I need your eyes. Okay. Apparently, it's got really tiny tiny print. See that tiny, tiny print? Here's my thumb. Here's the print. Yes. Okay. What scents are in there? Hi, Holly. Glad you're still here. My husband's got to get it close to the light. So I saw this one in the... It's really tiny. You can't even read it. But I can smell the mint in it. Um, possibly some lavender. We're going to get a magnifying glass. Holy cannoli. Um, I don't recommend wearing others' glasses. <laughs> Spearmint. Rosemary oil. That's what it is, the rosemary oil. Uh, macadamia seed oil, which is awesome for hydration. Peppermint leaf. These are in no particular order because I'm not reading them in order. Thyme oil, which is great. Thyme is a great essential oil for um, antifungal, anti-yuck. Just leave it at that. Makes your feet smell more nice. But very excited about this. Um, like I said, it's a, it's got a nice. It's not a peppermint scent. It's a peppermint with something I can't quite place. Now we know it's the rosemary and thyme. So that's product number one. I think this stuff is from the basic kit. 
Um, all right, ready for another thing? So the next thing I'm pulling out is You Had Me at Aloha Body Scrub. It's a honey, sea salt, and sugar with sweet pineapple and hibiscus fragrance. Check out the packaging on this bad boy. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just... Don't you just want to be in Hawaii right now? Well, I do. All right, so we're going to take a look at this. And we're breaking the seal here. Oh, man, and it's all sealed up. No easy way in, of course. Eek. Knife. I'm glad that they're very well sealed. Not so glad that it takes a diff it's more difficult to get into. But if it's more difficult for me, then it's more difficult. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, my good. <sighs> Fresh sliced pineapple. That's what this smells like. Fresh sliced pineapple. Oh, now I've lost Holly. There's Holly. Look at this. Check out that beautiful. There's chunks in there. Great color. Yeah, fresh sliced pineapple. Um, this says exfoliate dry skin while moisturizing and conditioning. Scrub over skin, then rinse thoroughly. Use two to five times a week. Awesome. What else is in there? This is a uh, sucralose and sea salt scrub, which I personally love. There's honey in there and raspberry. That's what the other thing is. Along with the pineapple, there's raspberry. Oh, that's nice. Did you want to smell this one, hon? Since you'll probably be using the scrub as well. My husband scrubs with me. It's yep, a good thing. Nice. He says it's nice. We have to work through our uh, Love the Dark first, though. All right, I've got some two to tango samples, <coughs> which I'll be demoing later on YouTube. Not tonight, another night. Um, so the chunks this season are awesome. Okay, so this one is Yugo Cocoa. It is crazy for coconuts. Check out that packaging again. I mean, our art department is going absolutely bananas. Coconut. It's it's definitely coconut. It's not as it's it's a it's a it's a mild coconut. It's not like it's not going to beat you over the head. Um, this is definitely a stronger smell of pineapple than this is a coconut. It's very pleasant, though, very, um, almost like a, a chocolatey undertone to it, so coconut with chocolate. So if you like your Mounds Bar, you're good. All right. Uh, <laughs> I am so glad they changed the packaging for the scrubs this, this season. So for the past three catalogs, we've had these little tins of scrubs, and, and they're great. You know, you dip your finger in, you're, you're, you're great. Um, the downside of the new packaging is it's harder for me to sample to people, so... I can't really get you a scrub to try, but this one is What a Lovely Pear. Prickly pear and assorted fruits. So I'll take one for the team, you know, it's all good. I'm not going to try it. I think I'm going to have to figure out a way for people to sample this, though, because that's really mild. Honey, do you smell anything in that one? No. No. Oh, yeah, it's faint. It's very, very faint. It's like, um really like not quite a ripe pear but just like a really green firm pear I, I usually love the lip scrubs I'm sure this is probably a little thinner than the ones in the tin so uh, if you see me out and about check it out what else do we have Ooh, this is the mask Holly I know you were excited about this one this is one that I want to try as well we learned in um, when they when they showed us all the new products, we learned that you're actually supposed to use two different masks back to back. You should use an off mask, draw stuff out of the skin, and then you should use an on mask to so put the hydration back in your skin so that everything's nice and balanced. Well, this one is a an off mask. This is Go West, pink, and Go West is um, it is an off mask, so it's going to draw things out. And let's see, is this open? Let me open it up. I wasn't sure if they were using a seal or not, in which they are. Let me just pull this mask. This is a red clay-based mask. Look at that beautiful color. Check that out. We do not use any any perfumes or dyes, nothing artificial. We try to keep it as clean as possible. So this one... I'll put a little bit on my hand here. 
It's really thin and fine. It's a little gritty, but it's a nice terracotta. It's got red clay in it. Um, I'm using this. Let that dry a little bit. So there it is in my hand. Um, with new masks, because I have really sensitive skin and I recommend this to everybody, test on the inside of your elbow first. Um, but with masks in general, one of the things we learned is that the off masks are likely to make your skin go red. That's normal and expected. What you want to do is, after you put on the, the off mask and you rinse off the off mask, you want to put on an on mask, like apricots overnight or I'm turning blueberry, all those nice soothing masks that make, make, your, feel like, make your face feel like butter. So this is the Go West. It's kind of citrusy. Let's see what's in there. You're supposed to leave this one on five to ten minutes. It's got peach. See, that's what it is, peach. There's peaches in here. Smell my hand. Oh boy. <laughs> Mark likes it. He might be using it too. I try to get him to try as much as possible so I can get the man's perspective. So that is Go West. Holly, I think you're really going to like this, especially paired up with Apricots Overnight or I'm Turning Blueberry afterwards. So you'll have to do a little pick. All right, next one is a Pineapple Pick-Me-Up, and this is an Appealing Fruit Face Mask. So this one says, um, here's the packaging. Check it out. I, like I said, love our art department. Um, enjoy a gentle chemical exfoliation with tropical fruit enzymes, apply a thin layer on clean skin, avoiding the eye area. All masks avoid the eye area. You want to make sure you carve out, you know, your eyeball or your eye socket. Don't put stuff in there. All right. Should we find out about this one? I know. I love I'm Turning Blueberry. Ah, oh, it's so good. And they kept it. It's in the new catalog. Yay! I hate it when I lose my favorite masks, but there is a mask that went away that I think they have a really good replacement for. So I'm super excited. Okay, this is a totally different texture, although it complements nicely with the You Had Me at Aloha. It has a pretty, it's pineapple, duh. So you can, one of the, one of the things that Posh has really been trying to do is to pair up their scents, and you're going to see that a lot as I go through. Um, so this one is you, Pineapple Pick Me Up. Um, it's really, it's, it's a light pineapple. Let's see what it looks like on. Oh, it's kind of like a gel. All right, see that? You can barely see it because it's just a glimmer of stuff. Goes on like a gel. Goes on clear. See, can't even tell where it is. But, smells great. So I'm gonna leave these guys on throughout most of this video. I'll probably take it off soon, but I'll have my husband grab me some um, baby wipes because they work great. Okay, the last thing in this pack is the Beach Blanket Big Fat Yummy Hands Cream. Kapow! Do you see a theme here? Anybody feeling kind of tropical beachiness? So this is Beach Blanket, and it's described as tangy citrus and sweet vanilla wrapped in creamy coconut. I'm thinking that this might be a good replacement for, um, what's the one? Let's see, vanilla, citrus... I can't remember the name of it. It was the... Yes, I've lost it that quickly. The one that was um, grapefruit and creme brulee and vanilla. It was delicious. Okay, so beach blanket. Let's open this bad boy up. Open the seal. Eek! By the way, if anyone wants to host an in-home or Facebook party, I would be happy to bring this box of fabulousness over to your house. Oh. The heavier scent is the coconut. Again, going to pair well with Yugo Coco. And that is a complimentary scent. It's going to go pretty well with the You Had Me at Aloha. So definitely playing nicely with others this season. Um, the beach blanket. Like I said, I mostly get the, the coconut. Really nice. And of course, all of our Big Fat Yummy Hand Creams feel fabulous on. So The last thing in this box is a bag. And I have plenty of bags, so I think this might be coming, becoming a, um, a prize for a contest sometime soon. Stay tuned. 
And then we have the brand new Posh Paper. I think this was my my, my basic transition kit. So this is the, the baby kit. So these are the new Posh Papers. I have a whole stack of these to go through. They are beautiful. I mean, check out these pages. How awesome is that? Gorgeous. All right. One box down, one box to go. Any questions so far? Any can you do this? I'm twisted at a bad angle. <sighs> the husband's opening another box. And his phone's making noises. Because that's what phones do. I'm smelling my hands. The masks are pretty nice. I'm, I'm really impressed with these two masks. The um, Go West is a little gritty. This one is definitely a gel. All right, so let's go treasure chesting. Holy cow. Okay, so this one comes with a backpack. This will not be getting given away. I'm sorry. This backpack is awesome. Look, it even says, perfectly posh. Big, huge backpack, nice firm padded backing. You can buy these, I believe, in the portal, but I'm not sure because I already have one. I don't need to buy it. Let's see, got a little peek. Oh, there's a peekaboo pouch! Okay, so in the top there's this little pouch. It's about mm, six inches across and four inches deep, maybe a little bit bigger. And it has in it two to tango, which we're going to smell, the other lip scrub, lemon wedgie, and flower child skin stick. Which should I open first? Two to tango. Lemon Wedgie or Flower Child? You decide. It's all you, Holly. What do you want to see first? Holy cow, they packed this backpack. I'm on delay. Where's my phone? Hold on a second. Holy cow. I feel like the, here's the dress. See the dress? There you go. I feel like I'm not getting all of my messages. Whoa! Not falling. Let's see if I can find you. Say again. Okay, do you want to see two to tango first, lemon wedgie, or flower child first? These were in a little tiny pouch at the top of the backpack. We're going to go through all three of them, don't worry. But, which do you want to see first? You're just like, yeah, whatever. <sighs> Getting all organized here. Oh, bummer. Flower Child it is. All right, Flower Child is one of our newest sticks. And it is described as more flower to you, grape seed, rose hip, and argan oils combined with shea butter to soften, soften and protect your skin. Smooth stick over skin as often as needed. What it says in the catalog, posh paper. Hi, who else joined us? I know we've got Holly. Who else is here? I'm just flipping through the catalog real quick. We're going to check out Flower Child in a moment. But I just want to see if the catalog has anything more to say about it. Okay, Flower Child. Uh, scented with a light floral fragrance. We'll see about that. All right, so quality sealed. Well, we had somebody else, and they disappeared. Maybe they don't like me. Eh, I'm young, I'll adjust. All right, there we go. Yep, it's floral. It's kind of like an orange flower. A little congested, it's hard to smell. It's, pre it's present. It's, it's not floral, which, you know, one of the things I love about 
perfectly posh so that their scents are not over the top crazy. Um, so, Flower Child. Use this kind of like healer but not as strong, just something to give you a nice floral scent. Two to Tango. They have been hyping this. This is one of the ones they released early and I'm super stoked about it. So I have these in samples, which means I don't have to make samples. Yay! And, ooh, it smells like a creamsicle. It's described as irresistible citrus, fruit, sweet fruits, and spicy vanilla. To me, it smells like a creamsicle, honey. What do you think, creamsicle? Nope, he mm. doesn't get creamsicle. Mm. Not creamsicle, but... I get creamsicle. <laughs> yes, yay, samples! Because I know there are a couple people, yourself included, who requested samples. Yay! There we go. All right, last one is Lemon Wedgie. And this one is supposed to smell like Sweet Lemon Chiffon. I think I'm really going to like this one better than the What a Lovely Pear, but that's just based on the names. Yes, creamsicle. Nom, nom, nom. All right. It's lemon. It, it's very light. It's, it's a very light lemon. It it's it kind of smells fluffy, if a smell can be fluffy. But if um, my grandmother used to make this um, lemon pudding cake, and it it was solid on top, like a sponge almost, but lighter and airier. And at the bottom, it was all like a liquid cream, a lemon cream. Um, and I loved it when she would make it and serve it hot, because you would you'd go into it and it just it would just melt on your tongue. That's what this smells like. Yum, yum. Okay, two, three, three, three. yep, okay. All right, so now we're getting into some bath stuff. First we have the Hips Don't Lie, and I'm so excited about this when I saw this. So, uh, the first year I was with Posh, um, they had this recruiting exclusive that was a tightening body cream, and I love it. Um, I got it, I, I love it, I... I was like, oh, this is fabulous. I still use it. I, I, I sample it out in very small amounts, and I'll use it, and I'll put it away, and I'll use it, and I'll put it away. Because they haven't had anything like it since. Hips Don't Lie is basically the same idea. It's a caffeinated body cream. Um, shake it and get moving with this ultra-caffeinated ultra body cream loaded with exotic extracts that tighten and firm and a sweet, exotic fruit and Amazon rose fragrance. Massage into targeted areas on the body for 20 to 30 seconds, up to twice a day or as needed. Hey Miguel! Oh, you came and you left. Bummer dude, you're missing out. But that's okay, you'll see it later. Okay, so um, when they did it before it was based on Moisturize 911. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so it's um it's a light citrus. Everything's citrusy, pineapple-y. It's great. Definitely beach-ready smells. Um, very excited about this. Again, great packaging, guys. Check that out. So, I really love. And I don't have to have to. Um, what's it up? Ration out my caffeinated body cream. I can use it up because I have hips to lie. <laughs> All right. Bath, we have Shore Perfection Body Wash, um, Tropically Sweet Beachy Citrus. This rich, rich sulfate-free body wash cleanses and hydrates deeply. Use in your bath and shower and rinse thoroughly. Of course, you should always rinse thoroughly. You don't want to be running around with soapiness. All right, popping this bad boy open. Pretty sure my granddaughter's going to get to use this because she'll have fun. Ooh, right here we go. Oh, oh. oh it's very full. Honey, my sniffer's broken. Can you smell this? What do you smell? A light lemon. Very light. Very light lemon, yeah. It's clean. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a lighter smell. You're not going to be, like, overpowered by it. I'll have to smell that later. Can you grab me a, the tin of coffee so I can clear out my nose? Need to fix the sniffer. Uh, the bulk of this bag is a big pack of posh papers as well as <gasps> the new polka dot guide so this is something that every consultant gets every new catalog 
catalog launch and when they join. And it just basically tells what we, what Posh is doing and how to work the business. Did you know that if your sniffer is worn out from too many scents, you can smell some fresh coffee? Whew. All right, let's try this shore perfection again. Very faint lemon. I don't know, we'll have to see how it lathers up. I'm sure it'll be great. I have no doubt. But anyway, back to the posh paper, or the polka dot guide. So everything that you need to know as a consultant, like all the reasons why you should love Perfectly Posh, which as a consultant you already know anyway, and probably you guys watching already know, because I try to say it a lot, what the new kit looks like. The new kit is awesome. Check that out. Pamper yourself, pamper somebody else, and work your business. They're going to set you up for complete success. All you have to do is work the system. Um, all the great things to learn about. And there's a new thing. I'll have to go through this later because I don't want to bore you. All right, so Posh Papers. What else do I have in here? Ooh, some more samples. Oh, we've got Beach Blanket. And, oh, they're hiding them. On here. Let's see, what is this one? Hippie Hooray! Oh, I don't know what Hippie Hooray is. Oh, it's a body cream. Oh, let's see. So this is the packaging on Hippie Hooray. Again, this is a sample. And that's going to be... Hippie Hooray is... Where are you? That's Hips Don't Lie. That's something different. Where is it? There we go. Hippie Hooray. Light and not too sweet, fruity, vanilla scented body cream. Out of sight. Pomegranate seed oil helps stimulate cells. Oh, there's pomegranate oil in there. That's a good thing. Okay, you'll have to check it out. So, you might be getting that in your sample packs. Surprise! Let me get the samples out of the way. Let's see. Anything else up there? Yes, there is. Where is it? This thing has a ton of pockets. And I I, I, I might be finding stuff in here for weeks. Ooh, chunks. <laughs> so, I know, just a chunk. So this one is Rico Guave. Again, tropical packaging. Take me to the tropics bath bar. Yep, smells like guava. I think I'm congested. I might have to do some of these. These will all be cut up as samples, so watch for them. This mask I am so excited about. This is called, it's the only mask in the look natural line. We've never had a mask before. So this is the mask. You can't see it very well. Uh, there we go. Envy this. And it is a tightening and brightening face mask. So you guys heard me before. I said that there was a mask that's going away that I was really sad about. It's the um, Sugar Cubes. It's one of my favorite masks. Holly, help me out. Uh, it went away. Hold on. I have an old posh paper. I'll find it. Okay. Hi, Ashley. Thanks for joining us. We're almost finished. Sorry. So, the mask that I loved last time, giving me life with Bella Luke in it. I was super excited about that mask in particular. It was a great mask for me. Um, ooh, okay. And um, I was so sad because they were getting rid of it, so I, I bought a few of them. <laughs> but this is Envy This, which you can't see. Um, it's a tightening and brightening face mask with green tea, neem flower, and caffeine. Neem flower is great. Um, it's an Indian-based plant. Um, Asian Indian, not first people Indian. And it is recommended for cleansing and detoxing, excuse me as I sit back down, detoxing and tightening. Um, green tea, 
caffeine, good for you. One of the best forms of green tea of caffeine and straight up caffeine. All of our Nook Natural products are 100% vegan, which is great if you have any concerns. All right, so let's check this bad boy out. Now, because it is Look Natural, even, oh wow, it's a green mask. Ooh. I don't know how to describe that. Maybe that's the meme flower. So it's described as deeply clean pores and tightened skin with caffeine, green tea, and neem flowers to make everyone green with envy. Apply a thin layer to your face. Okay, just to check in, here is Go West, which I'm loving. Uh, you can't see it, but the um, pineapple. So okay, the brown one, the orange one, Go West. Very excited. I might have to do that on a mask Monday. Pineapple Pick Me Up is a clear mask. It's going to draw stuff out. It's an, those are both off masks. And Envy This is also an off mask. So I'm going to put that, I put the pineapple here, I'm going to put this one over here. Just so that y'all can see it. It is green. Oh, hello, let's get out of the harsh light. There we go, green. And oh, it's very smooth. It feels kind of cooling. Definitely smell the neem once it's spread on. Again, just a thin coat. You don't need to go crazy. There, there we go. Thin coat. So that's Envy This. So your friends can be green with Envy. Uh, and then we've got Don't Be Bitter, Baby. And this is to replace... Haha, I got the old posh papers here. Uh, this is to replace... Oh, snap. So, and then the beach blanket, I think, most closely replaces... Could go either way. Either of these could go for old. Oh snap! Let's see. The Don't Be Bitter Baby is sugary grapefruit and rich sandalwood rather than the vanilla. Oh wow! Yeah, the sandalwood versus the vanilla. There's a real difference between them. The the grapefruit definitely comes through first. It does, it is pretty interesting, Holly. So, okay, honey, since your nose has smelled less, smell beach blanket versus don't be bitter. Citrus. He says it's more citrus for the don't be bitter. Fruity. More fruity, general fruity for the beach blanket, according to my husband. Um, yeah, the this one has the the sandalwood in it. So, how you might like that. I don't have a sample of that, but I will try to uh, get it on you next time I see ya. Oh, we lost either Ashley or Holly. I'm not. Oh, no, we're both back. Okay. Huh? Um, Holly, I'm not seeing you double posting at all. So. Don't worry. It's another chunk. Oh, this is the one I'm most excited about. So this is Full Moon. And it is, uh, it says, What a Little Moonlight Can Do. And this one I've got to open up because it just looked incredible on, on the video. Um, I I'm a little drawn to black soaps. I think they're just fun to watch people react to. Wow, that's probably the faintest chunk I have ever smelled. If I can ever get it out of the packaging, you'll see. You won't be able to smell it, but you'll see it. Oh, wow. See? Nice dark gray chunk. This is described as... Let me go to my chunks here. Oh, no, that's not what I want. This is what I want. So, Full Moon, when they introduced this at Posh Night, uh, they... they Put, yeah, that's Alexis's pick. Well, with this one, they they put a plastic bum on one of the consultants at Posh Night, and then the staff washed her plastic bum with the full moon, full moon, full moon. Um, I thought it was cute. All right, so chunks, 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 chunks. Where'd the chunks go? Oh, I can't find them. 
when do you use a chunk? Whenever you wash. Um, I actually use it in the shower. I use my chunk when I wash my hands. Um, when I travel, I actually bring a chunk, a, a mini chunk with me. So I actually take, uh, I get some samples of chunks and I will take those with me or I'll make a sample for you guys and I'll take one for myself. Great question, Ashley. Um, the only thing I, I don't use the chunks on my face because I prefer to use face skincare products on my face rather than a chunk. But um, I do know of at least one person who uses gender bender on her face because she has significant acne. So great question. Thank you so much. All right. So this one, full moon, is described as pink Himalayan sea salt. Oh, that's one of the ingredients. So it has pink Himalayan sea salt in it. And it is described as pink Himalayan sea salt nourishes while palm oil and glycerin balance your skin. Scented with lotus flowers and cedar. Here, honey, smell this. I think the best... Lotus flowers. You smell the lotus flowers strongest? My sniffer's done. I'm congested. I can't, I can't do any more smells. So we'll rely on my husband. Um, the best description I've ever gotten about a chunk is it is the cleanest... You'll feel cleaner with our chunks than you do with a, a typical soap. Um, a lot of soaps are made with tallow. Um, lotus flower is good for respiratory. Good to know. Um, I do have asthma. Maybe I should breathe my trunks. My chunks, not my... Anyway. Um, so one of my friends... Okay. Cleaner with our chunks than you do with regular soap. And that's just because we don't use tallow. We use... Um, sodium palmate, which is um, a natural plant-based um, item. It, our chunks are vegan. Uh, what a lot of companies will use for their soaps is tallow, which is beef ren rendered from beef fat and hooves. Um, not something I really want to put on my skin. Um, I may eat beef, but I don't necessarily want to apply beef as my cleanser, especially not beef tallow. So, so the pink Himalayan salt is good for respiratory issues. That's good. Good to know. So tell Alexis. Full moon. All right. What else do we have here? Where did I leave off? I already did the Rico Guave, which in the catalog is described as... Rico Guave! Palm oil and mango butter get you tropically clean and moisturized with a suave guava and white ginger scent. I love the smell of ginger, so I bet that smells pretty awesome, but my sniffer's broken. And over here, a uh, little informational piece about mango butter. Mango butter can increase your skin's youthful look and helps deeply moisturize dry patches. It's great for sensitive skin. Find it in the Rico Guave chunk. So informative! So anybody who is getting samples from me, and there's about 15 of you, um, will be getting a copy of the new Posh Papers. Yay! Are you excited? I'm excited. I'll be excited for you. Ooh, we have a body butter. Because you can't have a Posh catalog without a body butter. And this one is Apricot Me. You Apricot Me. I wonder, do you think it smells like apricots? Um, get caught with apricots is the slogan on the top. Again, love the bright, fun packaging. <laughs> this one's a little hard to open. I know, so am I, Holly. I have been literally stalking this package in the mail since Friday. I got my shipping notice. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, I can't share this one. I'm not going to be able to share this one at all. Y'all are going to have to buy it yourself. You apricot me. <sighs> it smells like apricots overnight. It is made... If, if you had smell vision right now, you all would be passing out in joy. Well, you know, I know where you can get more apricots overnight, Ashley. I'm, I'm just saying. I'd be happy to assist you with that. <laughs> but now you can slather your whole body and smell like apricots. Because the... Uh, you you apricot me is for the neck down and of course apricots overnight is for the night for your face so i would 
Oh, that's so good. Here, honey, smell this one. Your sniffer's not broken. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I like the body butters. And these are a big honkin' eight ounces of hydration. And I had a little fun little experience. If you get one of these and you're like, ah, uh, so I made a mistake. I put some in a second secondary container, but it, it kind of leaked a little bit. It, was, it wasn't as airtight as I would have liked. So it dehydrated. Super thick, great on my feet. Just a little antidote for those of you who might be interested and have rough feet. Not that any of you have rough feet, but you know, in case you did for some reason. All right, is there anything else in this magical... There's more! Ah! As if I needed to ask. All right, good hydrations in shower lotion. So if you have been watching TV, well, it's a good thing you won't run low, Holly. You know, I, I know the cure for, you know, being a posh addict. Join my team. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, you've, you've probably seen the ads from a lot of the regular commercial companies of, oh, you can do our in-shower body lotion. Well, Posh is finally on the bandwagon with that. We've got good hydrations in shower lotion. Pick up good hydrations for extra soft, smooth, lavender-scented skin. And all I can think of in my head is good, 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 good vibrations. I know, it's not quite good, but it works. Good hydrations. So let's check this. Oh. It's a seal. It's sealed for my safety. Watch list item. This one is the good hydrations, Holly. Just give me a thumbs up if this is the one you're, that's going on your wish list. Oh. What is that? It's the lavender. It's the lavender. I'm like, what is that scent? It's not in any of the other packaging that I've smelled so far. Definitely lavender. This will be a great one for right before bed if you take a shower before bedtime. Um, apply generously to damp skin to lock in moisture. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Put, it says put more power in your shower. So definitely lavender scented. So if you liked PJs all day, you'll probably like good hydrations. If you're not a lavender fan, I would veer you towards something else. Just a suggestion. The bag doesn't end. So this is Totes Oats, and this is a oat, honey, and sweet almond oil face and body mask. So if you know anybody with back knee or other issues, you can use this on face, back, legs, whatever. Um, gent get totally soothed skin. Oats, honey, and sweet almond oil create hydrate, clean, and rejuvenate. Suitable for even the most sensitive skin types. Apply to clean skin or body and leave on up to 15 minutes. Rinse thoroughly and moisturize. So this is an off mask. Again, off masks so you need to follow it up with an on mask. And I'm kind of figuring for your body, if you do totes oats first, you could probably then follow it with good hydrations would be my guess. Don't quote me because I'm taking a guess. But that would be my guess. So totes oats. Um, I'm actually going to save this one. I know what oats smell like. I know what honey smells like. I can't smell anything more. Eh, I'll open it anyway. Why not? Off with a ski seal. Almond oil is a really great hydrator. And if any of you guys ever remember being little and having something itchy and taking an oatmeal bath, this is probably along the same lines. I can't smell anything. Thank you, honey. 